Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Now, we're going to take a look at this, which is my MSI Media Kit for Arrow Lake. Now, I know there have been a lot of leaks and a lot of information about Arrow Lake going around on the web. Uh, my colleague Mark has uh, been um, uh, reporting on a lot of it on the website if you want to go and have a look at all the news articles. But I need to stay impartial. And impartiality for me means I get pretty much excited about everything, unless it's a case that they've put a line down it or something but when it comes to new motherboard and new tech and new ways to do things i actually really enjoy it it's why i do this stuff so we have a lot of stuff to talk about with our lake we are going to be doing a lot of uh, motherboard previews we are going to be doing a uh, a lot of work with our lake just as we did a lot of work with ryzen 9000 but what we will do is just be impartial and balanced and if some of the leaks are looking correct then it might not be that great but we have to do the testing to find out and that is where this amazing box of kit from uh, MSI comes in. If you're watching this after the day that's gone live make sure you go and check the channel or the website to see all the other stuff that we've got to talk about and please remember to like, subscribe and comment but now it's time to get in the box. So let's have a look at what I got sent. It says overpower with innovation on both sides and it's a box within a box, although the inside of the outer box is actually really cool. I can imagine a lot of you uh, wanting to put this on your wall or something because it's actually quite a cool design. I really like it. Um, in fact, maybe um, we need to start sorting out ways where I can let you guys have the stuff that I end up having to get rid of. Um, now, there is a hologram in this corner. As we can see, there is a um, basically, oh, that's actually really heavy. But there's basically a dragon in there when you move it around that we can see. Meg MSI Enthusiast Gaming. And when we pop it off, this is what we are greeted with. Now, uh, the motherboard inside is the 890 Ace. Z890, uh, it's quite weird because normally with Intel we would have said Z870. And then the, the 90 is kind of the refresh later. So the fact that we've gone straight to this makes me think that what they've wanted to do is, uh, a, uh, AMD would have been X870. So I think they've gone for the 90 to instantly put them on the higher numbers so that it looks better. Now, we do have the uh, Mag Core Liquid i360. I've actually uh, got this in my uh, own rig, which is the MS iCandy rig that I did candy red. So I've already worked with this. Um, so I have done stuff with it already, but mine is white. Now we will look at the motherboard in depth, but there are other things in the box as well. It does say, Dear Editor, you can download the review guide, so that's really nice. Uh, one of the things I do want to talk about with the AIO as well, because I have already taken photos of what's inside the box for the website, but it does come with an off um, set uh, bracket for the AIO because the hotspot on Arrow Lake is slightly further up. AMD is right at the bottom of the CPU. If you imagine normally the core would be in the middle of the CPU, with Arrow Lake it's slightly further up, so this offset bracket allows us slightly better cooling. Um, or to put the centre of the water block where the majority of the cooling fins are over the top of the actual hotspot itself. Now inside the box as well, Kingston Fury memory. It's not your average DDR5 though because it's Renegade DDR5 CU DIM. We will go into a full rundown on what CU DIM is and all the information about it uh, when we do the final review, but we I don't want to sit here and do a complete review for you on it, but you're going to know that we're going to be using this during our testing. Now, inside this box is the processor, and there's a uh, 285K hidden in there. But what I also have is this, which is the Intel box of goodies that they've sent me. And what I do have in the Intel box of goodies is a uh, 245K, a 285K, and I also have a 265K, and it does come with an Intel Core Ultra uh, item. It's kind of acrylic, 
and it's something I can put in the background with all of the others that I've collected over the years. And before you moan, there's AMD stuff there, you can see AMD processors and like GPU cores and stuff. Any of this stuff that I get sent, I keep it because to me it's all cool. You know, I do this for a reason. Now, with the board out of the box, Ascendant Crafted Excellence. Uh, I have actually had the pleasure of using uh, ACE boards on several occasions over the last few generations of both Intel and AMD. And the X670 um, uh, AMD board, I will say, was probably my favorite board overall from that generation of AMD boards. So I'm actually really looking forward to working with this and seeing if they've uh, really got their uh, um, brown uh, excrement particles together. <laughs> anyway, um, you do get a USB drive for your drivers, which is obviously cool. We have a four pin RGB extender. This is a little extender so that you can basically extend your front panel cables and it's black and it just means you can hide it and it gets it out of the way and sometimes with cases these cables can end up being condiment cables and by condiment I mean they're like brown, white and yellow condiments like mustard, mayonnaise and ketchup. That's going to make some of you chuckle. Uh, then we've also got uh, ARGB extender, we've got um, some thermal probes in here, we've got one, two, three, four SATA cables. What is this cable? Ah, oh, this is uh, their front panel um, extender cable. There's a, a proprietary header that is on the board up here, and basically it gives you some USB cables and your front panel headers and stuff. So this is actually a really cool um, proprietary connector. And then there is, uh, this is your Wi-Fi antenna, but it is uh, the tallest Wi-Fi antenna as well. So this is all cool, but now we need to look at the actual board itself. And I'm gonna do it all by hand, and then we'll move our way around. But one of the things, one of the reasons why I want to do this is because look how easy this is. Look, just come straight off. And the fact that I'm doing this with you live on camera. Um, <laughs> yes, Tom, live on camera. It is. There we go. See, now if I was um, had that on a table or I was on and it was actually bolted in a case, it would have been so much easier. This one comes off in the same way as well. This is your uh, PCR Express 5, the ACE does light up. But what we are going to do is have a good look around. But first and foremost, what I want to do is zoom you in to look at how beautiful these fins are on the top of the board on the VRMs, because that is a work of art. Uh, I'm gonna say it out loud, but Gigabyte have been doing uh, micro fins like this for a couple of generations now, but these have, just basically put an extra um, air of uh, design into them. Now, top left hand corner, where we would normally see the eight pins, you can see that we've got SysFan 1. There's no eight pin connectors there at all, but if we slowly come across past the gold on the board, and I really like that gold touch, they've not gone too hardcore with it to make it seem cheap, but there we have our two eight pins, top right hand corner. They are, weirdly though, when you look, not shielded. Now, I was expecting a metal shield around there, but they are not there, but they are solid pins. Top left-hand corner, you do have um, uh, places for you to put your multimeter. I find this quite ha helpful when I have um, programs not recording CPU vCore correctly, but we do have uh, CPU fan one there, and then what one are they calling this? Oh, it says pump sys one, and then... It's not saying what this, oh, SysFan5, that one is, because you have to look around the outside where everything is. But then you do get an ARGB um, header, and then you've got your post readout headers as well. Now, these are just lights. So you've got CPU, DRAM, GPU, boot, and then you do have the uh, more complicated in-depth post readout there. If we have a look, we do have 24-pin connector with all solid pins, and then there's another six-pin here. Now I'm just looking to see what it says down the side because normally what happens is one of these connectors is going to be for your USB-C charging. But there is another one down at the bottom here and it does say, if you look carefully, PCIe power. 
So I do need to read in to see if it is actually something to do with the PCR Express and allowing extra power for it. This is the easy um, connector that I said to you about before. It's a proprietary header. You get your front panel connectors on it, but you do have normal front panel headers here if you want it. Yes, I do have dirty fingernails. I've been scrubbing them as hard as I can do, but I was uh, working at my workshop last night on uh, my car. I actually was in a car accident and uh, my car has been written off. So I was, I was busy trying to salvage some parts Anyway, so uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 there, a couple of USB 3s here, four SATAs. Down at the bottom of the board, power, reset, fan headers. There's a lot of headers around here, if I'm honest, but here you have two USB 2s, which is always handy to have, and a couple more fan headers. And I did show you the, and then we'll do this. It's actually getting really heavy to hold it with one hand. So one, two, three, four uh, NVMEs there, and there's another one at the top. Now I'm gonna put this down this time to do it, rather than trying to float around and do it in no man's land. And there we go, it goes on lovely. Now I am gonna show you the lighting, but what I do want to do is show you around the back, because if I'm honest, MSI have leveled up recently because their uh, rear I.O. is now probably second to none and the ACE is just perfect. So there's loads of um, USB-C around here. So you get two 10s. These are going to be proper um, USB 4. You've got USB 10Gs, just like loads of them. You've got 10 gigabit Ethernet. Like, thank the Lord, we've actually got a board that's both for gaming and you can have high-end networking on it, Wi-Fi 7, uh, mic in, audio out, and SPDIF. HDMI at the top. It is a masterstroke of putting what you need on the board and probably what you didn't even think that you wanted. And there we have it. We have the uh, lighting on because of my magic box of tricks. I haven't powered it up. I haven't broken an NDA. But the ACE logo here lights up and then you have the MSI logo up on the uh, rear VRM heatsink over the top of it lights up as well. Obviously you can link that all in with your uh, software to suit your build as and when you would want. But as that is cycling through because it's in a kind of a demo mode, uh, I'm going to love you and leave you with our first look at the MSI MEG Z890 ACE and all of the other uh, interesting parts including that CU DIM from Kingston that they've sent along. Going to be looking forward to testing this for you for the review which is going to be the 24th of October, so I will see you back there before we know. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Uh, just do all of the things underneath. You know what to do. I do appreciate it. I read every single comment. Thank you very much. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. Ding!